Morning guys, so today we have a great little DIY project for you that's quick, easy and inexpensive and we're with our builder's DIY expert, Mr. Andrew Donkin, who's going to show you how to make your own tablet stand at home because Andrew, normally when you go out and buy something like that, you're going to pay a pretty penny. It's going to cost a fortune, yeah. What are we going to need for this little project of ours this morning? Okay, right, so we're going to start off with a scrap timber obviously. All right. Uh, we're going to use a set square, we're going to use some clamps, a tape measure, a cordless drill and most importantly a rotary saw. Brilliant. Now you can use a, a router or you can use a bench saw but most people have one of these at home and it's, and it's quite easy to do with this as well. Cool. Okay so first of all start off we're going to start off by drilling a hole and then we're going to use a, a, a counter ball basically just to bring it down and then we're going to use that for putting our finger in so we can actually turn our, our pad or our, our tablet yes. on and off. Basically we'll start off with the drill we're going to measure this can go back oh, around about 30 mils you can go back longer it doesn't really matter it just decides on the position of where the tablet is going to sit. Right. So we'll go for around about 30 mils out, you know, that's about 30 there, and we want it in the centre of the timber, so we'll measure it here. What have we got? We've got 94, which works out to be around about 47. Okay, we're going to do a little pilot hole here first of all, Great. send that down, and that's going to make sure that stays in position and doesn't wander around. Okay, that's Beautiful. it. Take this guy out. This is a 19 millimeter. I'm going to take it all the way down to the tip okay. and then stop there. All right. Okay. Now comes the, the tricky part. We need to make this slot. Okay. Exactly. So we're going to use the rotary saw. We're going to line it up and we're going to slice all the way through, yeah. move it over a little bit and keep slicing away until we get a And I can see it's slightly slanted. Yes. I've put it at an angle. Otherwise, yeah. it's going to stand up like that and it's going to flop backwards and forward. Don't want put it in an angle, slightly better position. Now we want to make sure that we cut directly through the centre and then move it across. Now it's quite difficult just to get it in line like that, yeah. so it's easier if we actually have a fence that we can rub it up against. So we're going to set up our own fence. All we're going to do is we get a scrap piece of timber there, we know it's a straight edge, we're going to hold it in place and we're going to clamp it down and then we know we can push up against that edge and that's exactly where we're going to cut. But we have to measure how far and where we need to position this. Okay. I've measured from the back plate here, from the edge right to my blade is 50 millimeters. We're going to put a few more lines in here, just so it makes our life easier when we actually move that fence down. We can line it up exactly. Right over here. Now, holding this into position, when you're using that saw it is going to want to move, so we've got two clamps here. We're going to line up for our outside cut. There's our first one there. There we go. Okay, we'll open this guy here. And that's firm. Okay. Now, again, another little tip with the saw is we actually don't want to be cutting all the way through this. We only want to go down about half the, half the depth, around about 12 to 15 mils. So we can actually adjust the saw blade so that it doesn't come all the way through the timber. Gently use the saw blade to cut through the timber according to the measurements. It'll glide over the wood and cut clean lines through it. Always take caution around active machines. Right, that's it. Andrew, thanks a lot, man. Thank really appreciate much. it. All right. I'm going to take one of these myself, yeah? Excellent. With a few simple tools and a bit of planning, it's easy to make your very own table dock. Let's see the steps again. Simply measure and drill into the timber, then use a saw blade to cut grooves, add a dab of paint, and voila. So head down to your local builders. You can get everything there you need to make your own tablet stand. Everything will be on our website as well, expressoshow.com. So uh, if that inspired the DIY person in you, then you're in on time because our friends at, at uh, Builders want to give you the chance of starting out your DIY journey by offering you a 250 Rand voucher from Builders. Now what you got to do is simply SMS the keyword Builders, including your name and city, to 33728 and that voucher could be yours. Now stay right, stay, stay right where you are because there's a lot more coming up on Espresso and uh, who knows, you might just see either Leanne eating a, 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 a party worm, which I think she definitely should because we danced on that pole for her. Come Come on, so get on Twitter, retweet that message. If you want to see Leanne eating a Mopani worm before the end of the show, please retweet. We'll see you just now.